I am so sure the Sims 4 gallery already has some really amazing horse creations in there, so let's take a look together. So let's go by horses, most popular, households, um, well. Well, maybe next time. We are one week into The Sims 4 Horse Ranch pack and I see already some people saying they are getting bored with the pack. It is very normal to get burned out of some game, but you paid for the pack, we should squeeze maximum out of it and that's why we are here today. In this video I will offer you 4 gameplay suggestions and scenarios to play today to fall in love with The Sims Horse Ranch pack at least a few more times again. If you are interested in The Sims, I created tons of content and even stream it here on YouTube, so make sure to subscribe and also turn on the notification bell not to miss any of it. But now let's get to the gameplay suggestions and the first one is having a rich sim which doesn't take care of the horses and this idea came from the comment of Sims Moon. Honestly, around where I live having horses is really an expensive thing but let's bring it to a wholly another level. Have a sim that is really rich, can be also a celebrity and build them a mansion. Then also build a beautiful stable that really matches the house and adopt maybe two or three horses. And now let's be honest, such a sim would probably not want to touch the dirty work, cleaning their bed or brushing them and that's where the horse ranch service is just perfect for this scenario. Have the ranch hand service take care of the horses, take care of all the dirty work, they can also do other repairs in the house, meanwhile your rich sim, your celebrity can be just enjoying their life and riding the horses. When riding the horse they can also have some really beautiful clean luxurious outfits and also of course Course, probably the horses are going to be looking really beautiful with all the accessories. Also one alternative or bonus to this scenario can be having your horses trained. This can be done in equestrian center or also through a community board. Because imagine such a rich sim that we are trying to build with this scenario would probably not have any patience just training a horse that doesn't know how to jump through the obstacles. So they would probably rather pay someone to train the horse and then have a luxury of being able to ride around with them and everything would be just perfect for them. I will probably want to play this also in my private gameplay. I feel like it's such a great idea, so thank you very much, Simu. The second scenario is to have a horse rescue center. Rescuing horses is one of the new features in the game and it's not like they develop something fully new, but it still feels like a feature, it makes sense, it makes for a perfect story. Create a sim or a family, I would imagine they would have some traits like good, maybe family oriented, maybe horse lover, things like that. And keep rescuing horses, it can be also multiple of them at the same time, maybe even to the full potential of 8 places in the family. The idea of rescuing horses in The Sims 4, for those of you who maybe might not know yet, is that you get a horse for a discounted price, but they come from a bad environment where they were probably not treated very well, and they get some traits like aggressive, maybe defiant, maybe fearful. And so try playing this storyline when you keep training them and keep rebuilding the trust for the humans again. I think that is so beautiful. And for example, you might also want to set up a rule. For example, if their temperament is at level 7, you will just change or switch the aggressive trait to the friendly one so you can just play with scenario as you wish and after some time when they are already trained and not aggressive anymore you can sell them and you can be playing like you are adopting those horses you are retraining them so that they can have some new owners and be already used to being with humans and not aggressive anymore you can set up some rule for yourself for example the horses are ready to get a new home only if they have all the four skills at the level six, for example. And let me offer you also an alternative to this scenario. You know how unfortunately in real life, the older the animal is in the shelter, the less likely they are to be adopted. You can be playing this scenario with only adopting elderly horses so that you are trying to really rescue them, give them a better chance in life and they can stay with you until the rest of their life. I think this is also really beautiful. If you like this scenario or any other of them and see yourself maybe playing with it or find it helpful, please consider giving this video a like because liking any type of my content helps much more than you think so thank you very much the gameplay suggestion number three is having a proper ranch this is also depending on which packs you have and I already touched upon this in my last video where I was reviewing the host ranch pack 
Start by adopting multiple animal types, for example, horses, cows, chickens, llamas, goats, sheep, maybe even cats or dog, and create a fence space for them to live together in. Then build a garden and you can have some fun with it. For example, you can split it up to sections based on what fruit or veggie type it is. You can also build a greenhouse. And as a little alternative or bonus, you can also set up the simple living and or also of grid challenges. Build a cottage core or maybe cabin inspired house. It can be also multi-generational depending on what Sims family you have. And you can be playing this story with being really self-sufficient. Especially with cottage living and horse ranch packs, I feel like this is really a perfect combination and I see myself also playing this storyline sometime soon. And the fourth suggestion is being lifelong BFFs. Who was expecting this? I know, but tell me this is not a really good storyline. When your sim is a child, adopt or breed a baby horse and have them spend some time together nearly daily. At this stage, when it's only a fowl, you will be only able to train the temperament with them, but I feel like this is really a huge advantage when you start with this really early on. When your sim is still a child but your horse is already adult, you can be also training their endurance by riding around the neighborhood and slowly becoming best friends with the horse. Make the sim insist on taking full care of the horse including cleaning their stall, refilling the food, brushing them, cleaning their hooves, and maybe even build them really beautiful and personalized stall. As a little joke and only of course in The Sims, you can choose one of The Sims tattoos and then try and replicate this tattoo for the horse in the paint mode so that they have matching tattoos as BFFs. And as a little bonus or if this is something that you really like to play with, try to win all the competitions together as a pair as BFFs. If you have some more gameplay suggestions or scenarios in your mind, definitely let me know in the comments. I will be very happy to create another video and also, of course, properly shout you out. And this doesn't have to be horses related. These in this video were definitely horse related. But I don't know, maybe you have some really nice storyline with nectar making. Thank you very much for watching till the end. Thanks to anyone who decided to like this video. And also, if you are interested in The Sims, I make a ton of The Sims content here on YouTube and even stream it here. So I would really definitely love to see you around also the other time. Thank you very much. I will see you around and see you soon. Bye bye.